Hi guys and dolls, how are we all doing? I hope we're all good. I hope all your fish are well. Um, okay, so I'll give you an update. Uh, it's been two weeks since I last showed you the guppies, babies. They're still doing well. Um, they're big enough now to go in the big tank, which is my next job today. Um, and as for me breeding between the uh, bristle nose, we're not doing very well with them. Um, I put them back in a big tank. Uh, I've got the small tank I was going to carry on using, but I'm trying something else now. Um, everybody keeps saying get a 75 uh, litre tank, um, or a 20 gallon long, which is basically that. Uh, I can only get a 70 litre, I've been looking everywhere. So what I'm going to do is show you the babies and then um, we'll do an unboxing of the tank. So, um, let's show you the babies. Uh, ooh, and then you got the head in the camera then. Right, so in here... As you can see, I don't even have to go all the way to show you, you can see them. Um, you can see the little bits in there, that is, uh, um, I was going to say brine shrimp, but that's the wrong one. Um, and that, um, but there's Daphne in there, I actually put too much in. Um, the bags were bigger, uh, I was going to put a little bit in, I tipped it a little bit hard, and there you go. Um, there's food down there, as you can see they're eating, um, so all doing well. Uh, yeah. The guppies in there somewhere, um, as I said I've got one guppy, um, 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 I saw him earlier and I can't see him now. As you can see as well, all the uh, spots are getting uh, better on the old um, uh, mollies. So there, there's a, one darker one here, it comes there, going down the bottom, look, there he is on the bottom stones. He's a little bit darker than the rest. Um, as I said, there is the guppy in there, do you know what, I can't see him now. I was watching him and I thought, oh, I'll show you that. Um, I know he's in there somewhere. Uh, Molly, 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 Molly. Hello, Molly. Oh, there it is, right at the back, just going up by the heat. Oh, no, it's yet yeah, by the heater, just gone behind the heater. Um, it's at the bottom of the heater now. It's going up one side, it's just on the left, going between the filter, and it's gone back down. But there it is, it's down there. Um, it's actually feeding there. It's gone around the back of the filter. Then it comes back out. So yeah, he's, he's pretty well lively and darting around. So we've got one guppy and the rest are mollies. So as I said, uh, the next challenge now is I'm going to put them into the big tank. Because, um, you know, they're pretty big now. Um, yeah, as I said, there's a Daphne. Uh, they're a bit big for them really, but they are eating them. Um, silly little me. Um, put too much in, but we won't worry about that because at least they're alive. Uh, so when I take them out, I should drain the water and stick these Daphne into the big tank so all the big fish can eat them. So that is the situation. Oh, um, and the other thing is, when I was looking at my big tank, uh, I can't see it very well at the moment, there was um, number two mollies, a black one. And it looks like a Dalmatian one. Um, they suddenly appeared. Uh, so that was good. I'm going to show you the tank anyway. It's a bit cloudy. Um, the cucumber's done this. But this is what happens sometimes. So I've done another water change. Um, as you can see, it's a bit dark. Uh, you can see the fish. They all seem to be happy. Some of them around. Now, as you can see, there's some plants here. Uh, I was reading on the... Or not reading. I always say reading when I was watching. Don't do a lot of reading, me. Um, I don't know about most people, but I get things and I don't really read the instructions properly sometimes. Um, so anyway, I've got these plants, and it said put a little tight on the bottom of each one, you know, a pair of tights, cut them up, put them on the bottom, put some weight in there, like gravel or whatever, and then get this, um, like, oh, what do they call it? Um, compost. 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 Aqua. So aqua compost in it, right? So I did that. Uh, took ages and ages, oh look, there's a nice bristle nose, um, so I took ages doing it, uh, fantastic it was, put them in the tank and the water went horribly black, because uh, all the mud was coming out, um, all the compost, so be warned, you know, watch what you use, because I said it went mad, I left it a while to see if it would clear out, um, I might have jumped to the conclusion too quick and, you know, but it went really, really dark. Um, I'm sure if I had done a couple of water changes, 
um, it would have been okay. I don't know if anybody can tell me on the bottom of here. Oh, just if I can ever focus it. Oh, she's messing around. It's red. Now, I don't know. Is that where the eggs come? Because it looks like it is. Right at the bottom, just above the towel. Uh, there's like a little fin, and there's some red there. Um, around here. It's funny actually, because you can't see it so well now. And it looked like it was eggs. Is that where the eggs come? Just about there? Can somebody uh, comment and tell me? Um, there's a hillstream loach. Been quite big now. So yeah, everything seems to be going fine. So as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video um, of the unboxing and all that and we'll see how we go. Uh, and we'll talk about all that. I say everything seems happy. There he is, he's, he's uh, pregnant. Um, as I said, it's a bit cloudy in at the moment, so we're waiting for it to clear. Uh, but everything seems happy. Got loads of K's. Um, there's that one that sits up the side down. I don't know if that's a crazy fish well, I think it is this molly here is definitely pregnant um, but when it's due I don't know so what I'm hoping um, oh they pull the plant out again look they've hit the plant and it's all come off the roots must be stuck somewhere they keep doing that that's the only reason I don't like um, uh, live plants much I was hoping to see the one of the babies because it was here just now but it's gone as I said the tanks too dark to see um, so yeah, that's that's that one. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do another. Oh, I'm back in now. What I'm gonna do is another video of the tank. Um, oh, I tried with a small tank. As I said, I wanted a 20 gallon, 75 litre. Could only get a 70, so five litres is not a lot. Half a bucket. So I'm going to go for that, and I'm going to try uh, breeding my plecos. Um, Obviously you can see uh, Bluey is the tank behind me, but that's going to be on another video because otherwise I make the videos too long, uh, which we don't want to do. So, let's see you later on. Um, guys and dolls, please like and subscribe and press the bell. Helps me, helps you. Also, you'll probably see you in the next video as well, such as the uh, tank, um, which will be tomorrow, I would say. Um, oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch this quick enough, but just... Hang on, focus in, focus in. Come on. Oh. Uh, just to the left. It's a job. There it goes, up by the cave. Uh, it's a bit blurry in the back, but there's one of the babies. So, as I said, there's definitely two mollies in there. Um, okay, only two, but I don't mind that. I don't know where it's gone now. It's disappeared. But um, it's a bit blurry, as I said. Hopefully, we'll be seeing better when uh, it's not so blurry. So, as I said, Please um, like and subscribe, press the bell uh, so you get notified when I put the next ones up. And um, as I said, the, the uh, small models are going to go in the big tank. I'm going to go from there. So I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.